we are the chest height the tallest statue in the world right and there's a reservoir to the back there so we can't stay too long here we, we go in 71st no india program from trinidad morning guys morning guys all you could see my eyes are swollen but anyways we're gonna leave um, the bar today and we're gonna head back to New Delhi, right? So we have a park day, so there we go. Guys, so after a long, long journey, we have arrived at the 182 meters Statue of Unity. Right, so we're gonna get a tour, and you guys are gonna see it in a bit. Are the cores of the statue, mm -hmm. and elevators travel through the legs of the statue. Now as I said, if we see statue as a building, it's a 60 storey building and you can see a gallery on the chest, just below the second button of the jacket. Mm -hmm. That's weighing gallery. Mm -hmm. That's at 45th floor. And the elevators are the high speed elevators. So we will be reaching 45th floor within 38 seconds. That is India is moving towards progress. That is why it's in a walking stance. We are moving ahead. Now here, uh, the construction part is explained. Uh, as I said, on one side is Vindhyachal uh, mountain range and on another side is Satpura. In between flows River Narmada and we had a hill in the center of River Narmada, which was selected as the foundation for the statue. And uh, the hill was named Sadhu Hill. Statue of Unity, right? I just showed you guys the view from outside, and we are at the base of the statue. So we are going to go on the 45th floor via high speed elevators. So let me go. This is part of Loha campaign. So 
So, like, if every Indian wants to contribute for the making of statues, especially keeping in mind farmers of India, because Sardar Patel Sahib was himself was a son of farmer. So now, money, everybody does not have so much money to contribute for such a big statue, but a farmer can at least give his tools which he uses for the farming and a fist of soil from his farm. So we received around 134 tons of used iron from 1,69,000 villages of India. After refining, the 109 tons which we found was used in the foundation of the statue. Not damage each other by contraction and expansion. Now, this is at the moment the only statue in the world which is hollow. You travel through elevators, you come up till chest level and view the ambience around. Still, it is so strong it can sustain an earthquake of 6.5 on rectus scale and a wind speed of 180 kilometers per hour. La last uh, earthquake noted here was 3.5 on rectus scale and this is seismic zone 3. Now, if anybody feels that there is a slight jerk coming to the structure or the structure is shake, shaking, that is because statue is provided with a flexibility of 8 cm to avoid stress coming on the joint and building. Uh, now, that's the chest portion and from there, his dream, Sardar Sarovar Dam is visible. So we can go inside. The
statue, the biggest statue in the world. Just imagine that. Listen, I'm close.